that I shied away from using color because there's a lot of intention and meaning associated with certain types of colors and I didn't want to imply any one thing with my artwork at the time. And then I randomly found this book about color psychology and kind of the significance of certain colors and then all of a sudden color just exploded back into my work. Interface recently hosted one of those collaborative learning classes up at the Atlanta campus and we got to work with a bunch of animation students um, in collaboration with our company and I got to be the liaison back and forth with that and that was just, I mean, that was a big deal. That was so cool. So the project that I'm proposing is called Wheel and it's an interactive color space created with multiple panels of hand-dyed silks creating this beautiful color spectrum in a full circle. Essentially, it's a life-size color wheel that you can engage with either on the outside or you can kind of part the panels and enter inside that space. My ultimate intention with creating this kind of separation and architecture within another space is to be able to create an environment in which people can engage with the piece on kind of a group level. I'm envisioning it in my mind, inviting and collaborating with some of the local yoga studios in the community and offering group meditation and relaxation classes, yoga classes inside of this color space. One of the really cool things about this piece is that each of the panels is going to be hand dyed a different color. So there's going to be this subtle color gradation as you kind of move around this circle. But what I'm really excited about is this opportunity to dye a bunch of silks and hand roll the hems to create these wearable pieces. Um, whether they're kind of silk scarves or wraps that people can put around themselves that are directly the exact same colors that are in the installation. So at the end of the day, if you really associated with, you know, that beautiful persimmon orange that's in the palette, you can purchase that silk and take it home with you and it will be a way that the project and the piece lives on. Part of what Wheel requires is this huge hoop. It's going to be about 30 feet in diameter. 75 to 95 feet in circumference. So I'm looking towards the industrial design department to work with me on creating something that's lightweight, maybe PVC or aluminum, to create a large scale hoop from which I can hang these individual panels. Both of my parents are mathematicians and in some way or another, I always seem to bring math or strategy into my project planning. One of the ways in which I've sort of applied this is through color mixing, and I have really honed in on this skill. Whether I'm working with acrylics or watercolors or dye, I'm constantly mixing all of my colors by hand. I have a very specific and precise eye for when I've hit the color that I want to hit. I mean, for the type of color precision that I'm really wanting to achieve with this, I need the absolute cleanest, most sterile environment. I need a chemistry lab, basically, and that is the SCAD Fibers Dye Studio. <laughs> And this is something that I've really been focusing on as I'm getting ready to start thinking about applying for MFA programs. I want to have this opportunity to really just separate from everything and get a bunch of clarity on my creative process, produce a really substantial piece of work that I can contribute to that application process, and then go forth and get my MFA. I fell in love with SCAD, but I think I fell in love with Savannah first. SCAD has been a really special place for me. and. It would feel even more special to be able to kind of bring this full circle back to close. Like, they've given me so much in my career, and I would love to come back and be able to create a 